Alright, so as you can see guys, it's uh, pretty windy today. I had to give up my plan of um, finally flying my uh, wing after upgrading it to 6S, but I think it's really hopeless today, so um, only thing left for me to do is answer a question that comes up frequently, which is um, how well does the Flyway Explorer or the mini long range, uh, micro long range handle strong wind? And I think it's pretty perfect conditions today to try it out. Okay, so I just got inside to um, at least get halfway decent audio while I'm talking. I have the uh, Flywoo Explorer here, this is the analog version, so I mean micro long range Flywoo Explorer is pretty much um, the same thing. So Flywoo Explorer analog version, um, the lithium ion pack, so let's hook this up, get it out. Start recording on the goggles. It's looking good. Um, no satellites, unfortunately, but that shouldn't matter too much. Oh, 12. Perfect. All right, uh, you can already see <laughs> the tree here. So, seriously windy. I'm not making this up, so let's try to get it in the air. Ah. Okay. We are airborne. Doesn't feel too bad, honestly, first sight. I mean, it's seriously wobbling. I have some weird lines in my uh, FPV feed. I don't know exactly what's going on with these lines, honestly. Maybe it's because I'm sitting uh, here in the car with Bluetooth and my phone and all sorts of uh, noise going on. Uh, but, I mean, it doesn't really matter. So let's let's see how it handles. Um, I mean, honestly, you know, my first impression is it feels okay. I mean, yes, it's wobbling, but I mean, this is, it's not like I feel out of control or in any danger of um, not being able to fight the wind, so fly against the wind. So let's try to hover in place and see how it handles it. I mean, no, no problem. Absolutely fine. Hovering close to a tree. Nope, no problem. It's sort of surprising. Because I really, I mean, I had almost the same wobbles uh, on my 7 inch. Just keep flying around. It really feels okay. I mean, I think after 20 minutes of doing this, I might get seasick, but uh, <laughs> I mean, let's assume we are uh, flying around, you know, you're using an FM ion pack, so you have 20, 30 minutes, which is uh, quite long, so it is actually possible that meanwhile, you know, some wind comes up, some uh, stronger wind, and you get into sort of trouble, and I would say it's sort of safe to assume that at least under conditions similar as those we have here today, you would be absolutely fine and able to still fly home. I mean, I, I can tell that uh, my amp draw is higher than usual and my battery is sagging quicker than usual because obviously, I mean, the quad is going to expend more energy uh, just to maintain a more or less stable position. But, I mean, so far, it's a bumpy ride. It's not pleasant anymore, but it does seem to be fine. I mean, you can even do some flips and rolls and so on. A bit out of control, but still okay. Let's do a little hover test. Whoa. Hover test again. I have to be a bit careful. I don't want to have to climb into a tree now. But it seems to work, and you can really see... <laughs> that was close. Okay, uh, let's stop messing around. Uh, but you can see, I'm still in control. It's still fine. I mean, Nurk, 
um, Nerk FPV released a similar video flying over a lake in case you've seen it so uh, if you think I'm I'm biased which I mean obviously I am towards the quad I sort of developed um, he came to the same conclusion that basically uh, the Flyway Explorer or micro long range is still fine up to um, pretty serious winds so, um, but I think I'm done for today it's really not very pleasant to fly with uh, so much wind so anyways guys I uh, hope you found this interesting and useful and hit that subscribe button thanks